We've seen students apply to 15 schools in a cycle, 20 schools in a cycle, and they're like, I, I, I hope it works out. Um, and and, and there, there's one specific story that comes to my mind where, um, you know, one of our students had applied to 15 schools and got zero interviews. Like they were like, hey, I don't feel like a strong applicant. Let me just apply to more schools. And they didn't get an invitation to an interview or anything. Um, and the next cycle when they applied, they applied to, I believe, five schools and got into at least three of them. So what was the difference? Hey, what is up? How you doing? My name is Joseph Googie. I'm a physical therapist. I am also one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, where we help students realize their dream of becoming physical therapists. So if you're interested in being a PT, then listen up. And specifically today, I'm talking to pre-PT. So students that are still working their way through the process of getting into PT school. And what I wanna talk about is, um, you know, something that we, we have just seen a lot of um, over the past few years. And that's students that um, when they're getting ready to apply, feel like they have to apply to a lot of schools to give themselves the best chance. And, and the honest truth is this, like it's not your fault <laughs> like it's 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 number one what many of us have been advised or told uh by our advisors or by other physical therapists hey if you have a lower gpa apply to more schools if you are you know if you're struggling with the gre apply to more schools and, and the idea behind it i i get but i want to talk to you about you know like how to actually set yourself up because i want to like really have the conversation of well if i'm applying to more schools does that increase my chances of getting into physical therapy school. And the idea for a long time has been, well, if I don't feel like a strong applicant, then I just need to apply to more schools. My The odds will be more in my favor. And um, and, and, and that's that's the mindset. What, what we don't realize is that that's actually not always the best way to navigate through it. And, and, and to be honest, sometimes it doesn't even work at all <laughs> um and so so i'm gonna break down to you why that is um, and also how to set yourself up regardless of whether you have a low gpa right now or regardless of whether you're uh, struggling with the gre or other aspects of your application that you feel you know applying to more schools would cover up i'm gonna help you kind of navigate through uh you know how to set yourself up to have a strong application and to be a strong applicant uh without having to do that so, so let's first of all talk about a few things when i'm applying to a lot of schools uh, i'm also spending more money on the application remember like for each school you apply to you are like paying for that and i think so sometimes we don't realize that i think many students get, get to the application they're like what like I got to drop this much money, this many hundreds. Of, uh, okay, so so when you're applying to more schools, it, it, it's it, it it costs like right. So 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 the biggest thing is, and Casey always talks about this, and I've always said this too. It's like like you're basically making PT Cast, which is the platform that you know you use to submit your application. You're making them rich off of your mistakes, right? And so so what what we've seen is we've seen students apply to 15 schools in a cycle, 20 schools in a cycle, and they're like, I I, I hope it works out. Um, and 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 there, there's one specific story that comes to my mind where, um, you know, one of our students had applied to 15 schools and got zero interviews. Like they were like, hey, I don't feel like a strong applicant. Let me just apply to more schools. And they didn't get an invitation to an interview or anything. Um, and the next cycle when they applied, they applied to, I believe, five schools and got into at least three of them. So what was the difference? What was the difference? Why Why is it that that student could have applied to a third of the schools they had applied to the year before, but, but this time they got multiple acceptances, but the first time they got zero interviews. And it's because when you're applying to a lot of schools, you're really kind of guessing. It's kind of like closing your eyes and, and, and grabbing a, you know, I mean, but like a dartboard, right? It's like closing your eyes and just kind of shooting in the dark. Just, just, just hoping, hoping that something hits. And sometimes you can get lucky, and, and that's where we have to be very careful because sometimes you you might hear the story of somebody that was like, "Yeah, I applied to twenty schools and I got into two of them," and you're thinking, "Well, if that worked for them, then then it'll work for me." No, no, it's guesswork. It's guesswork. <laughs> so, so you have to understand that that just because it worked for them does not mean that it's gonna work for you. In, in fact, when, when something is not a good, strong, proven strategy, it's a hit or miss. And you just have to ask yourself, are you willing to play a hit or miss game 
when you apply to PT school because every year you miss, that's a year of not being a physical therapist. That's a year away from your dream. That's another year where you have to, you know, reapply all the different things. You have to ask yourself, like, is that really worth it to me? Or would I rather apply as a much, much stronger applicant? So, so here's the biggest thing. The, the, the real answer to this is this. When you're applying to a lot of schools, you have to ask yourself why you're doing it, right? So if you're doing it because it's out of fear, like whenever you're doing something out of fear, just be very careful, right? If I'm doing it out of fear that I'm not going to be a good enough applicant, so I'm hoping this will cover it up, that's not a good strategy. Like, and to be honest, it could work, but more than likely it won't, right? Now, the other way is a targeted approach. Now, whenever we work with any of our students in our coaching program, the accepted system, one of the first things we want to do is figure out like where where, where are you at? Like all your, all your numbers, all your stats, everything else, and how can we create a targeted approach for you? right? Whether that's a targeted approach in the schools that you select, whether that's a targeted approach in what you're going to do to become the perfect applicant for those schools. And when that happens, all of a sudden, we don't need to just guess and apply to a whole bunch of schools anymore. Now we can actually pick a small select group of schools that gives us a really, really good shot of getting into PT school. And that's for a few reasons. Number one, you're only applying to schools that are the best match for you. And because of that, you can apply it to like four, four, five, six, seven schools and have a much better chance than if you were just shooting in the dark and hoping for the best and doing it out of fear. Does that make sense? The other thing too is this, schools schools recognize the, the different types of applications. I think sometimes we forget that schools are smart. <laughs> schools know what they're doing and schools have been doing this for a long time. And so what that means is they can tell when an application is very generic or general, right? So, so if you're applying to a program, they can feel or they can sense when you're just kind of throwing an application out there because it's just another application. It looks like something that you could have copied and pasted and submitted to any school in the country. And when they sense that, they like all of a sudden that distances you from them. So you actually want to be able to apply to each school as if they're the only school you're applying to. Now, am I recommending you only apply to one school? Not necessarily. Sometimes that's not a bad idea, but, but for the most part, no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you want to be able to apply to each school like they're the only program out there for you, which means that if you are applying to 15 schools or 20 schools, that's very difficult to do. Like that's very difficult to do. That's, that's like trying to have like 15 to 20 best friends and trying to pour into them. Like it just, it, that's exhausting. And to be honest, you dilute yourself. But if you have four, five, six, seven schools and you're like, hey, I actually have a game plan. I actually know how like, like, I've actually picked schools that, that are the right school for me. I actually have some guidance, some, some direction on how to navigate through this process. Now I can actually pour into these schools. Now I can actually understand these schools. Now I can actually get to know these schools in, in, in the way that will allow me to tailor my application to match what they're looking for. So that when they look at your application, they're like, wow, this student is actually like, like is perfect for our program. When you have supplemental essays, now you're actually able to tailor them. You're able to spend a lot more energy and a lot more time understanding the school. But if you apply to a whole bunch of schools, that's difficult to do. So you want to have a targeted approach, but you also want to be able to apply to each school like they're the only program in the world. So ask yourself, if you're if you're planning on applying to a bunch of schools, is it because you know there's a lot of faults or there's a lot of um, areas in your application that you're not confident in and you're hoping it'll cover it up? Just remember, that's probably not the best way to do it. T to be honest, I would rather you go through your obstacles, use those to showcase to the schools that you are resilient, to showcase the schools that you, you desperately want it, to, to showcase the schools that if you started, you know, with a rough freshman, sophomore, junior, you know, years with your grades, that you were able to ch like change those grades, that, that you were able to, to show an uptrend in your grades by retail, like I would rather that then you just saying, ah, oh, you know, I'll just try and hope for the best because you're bound to waste a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of energy. And the honest truth is that's guessing, that's guessing. And if there's anything that we can tell you about how, how we have just coached students is you don't want to guess. And if you feel like you're guessing, then we need to start shifting that. If you feel like you're guessing and you're like, I want help, 
reach out to us, send us a message, go to our, any of our social media accounts, message us, reach out to us, text us, whatever that is. Let's talk so that you can apply to PT schools feeling confident in yourself, feeling like you have actually picked the right schools for you and that you have actually become the perfect applicant for those schools and it shows in everything you do. So that's the biggest thing that I could tell you so that you don't waste time, so that you don't waste money, so that you don't waste your energy because I want you to become a doctor of physical therapy if that's what you want to become. And I don't want you to ever think to yourself that it's impossible for you. Sounds good? All right, hope that helped. We'll talk soon.